not like here. It's not a cold country, right? So let's observe whether this is a moral or, is it, or immoral. You're, you're British? Both of you are British or yeah. just him? Okay, sure. The legal age of marriage in, in, eight, in the 1800s, in, in 1770 specifically, what was the legal age of marriage? In, in, in Britain. What year? 1770. Uh, so you before, before, before you child. answer, before you answer, ignore, ignore uh, 1400 years ago, we're talking about 200 years ago, right? What was the legal age of marriage? Legal age of marriage, that means that was the norm of the society, right? Not one person doing something wrong, like King Richard II or otherwise married six years old. No, we're talking about the norm, the law, what was set in place for people. What was the legal age of marriage? Do you know the number specifically? Uh, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but, maybe, but I know it was younger than 16. That's a guess, what, 14, maybe 13? Seven years old. Seven years old. Do you know according to who? That means your great, 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 great grandfather, your great, 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 and my great, great, no problem, I have no problem. And my great, great, <laughs> already did that. So that is according to, according to William Blackstone in his book, Commentaries on the British Law. He's not a Muslim. But was it practiced within British definitely, culture? Definitely. He's writing, if you study law in England, yeah. you will know William Blackstone. Definitely. Right? In his book, Commentaries on the British Law. Do you know why they were doing that? They had low life expectancy. They used to die early. If they didn't multiply and get married early, they would be extinct. By definition. Well, you wouldn't have sex with a seven year old. Me? No, generally speaking. No, marriage is marriage. It was not Islamic marriage, it was British marriage. So it was consummation and everything. Well, but you, reason. but what you see today of seven years, you know, I'll tell you the problem. The problem is of what you see today of seven years old, you're applying that to, to the past, which is presentism, is a fallacy. You cannot apply the moral values of today or what you see of women today to the past, well, the right? the human body would be the same today as it was 14 years uh, ago. In, so in, a nine-year-old is British, not developed in, Britain, in such a way. Sure, sure, sure. Nine-year-old is definitely is in the desert of Arabia. In Britain, I wouldn't know. But I'm just giving you the understanding why they used to do that, right? They used to do that because they had life, low life expectancy. You will not be born, no one would be born, we'll all be extinct. They, had to, they, they used to go in wars. People used to get killed, right? War was the norm. You, you, you grow up, you go to war, you come back, right? That was the norm of the society, right? So the human body does mature. Islamically, this is the criteria for you to marry a woman. She is menstruating, she's physically mature, she reaches the age of puberty, and she is psychologically mature. According to who? According to the same was prophet. She, she I will answer that. Definitely. Because there's a hadith where she was playing with her dolls. Definitely, I will answer that as well, right? Psychologically mature and physically mature. Why? Because Prophet Muhammad says, La darara wa la darara. This is the criteria. We don't have an age, sit age, because every day it changes. Today women are not, are not mature, yeah, even 17, 18, right? The fact that in a hadith, I will answer. I will answer. I will answer. Psychologically, she can't be mature. I will answer. I'll tell you why it, it does. What was the means of entertainment for the children 1400 years ago? Well, it wasn't PS2, was it? No. They did not have any means of, of entertainment except these kind of things. So the reason she's playing with it or she doesn't play with it, there is 16, 17, there is old women today who can go on YouTube, they still play with dolls, right? Her playing with a doll does not prove anything, right? <laughs> they still exist, open your phone and you search it, right? But that was the means of entertainment 1400 years ago. They did not have a PlayStation 2, they did not have a uh, ghost of, they did not have phones, internet, as you mature, Facebook. You, you would, you would surely, uh, no, if that them. was the, she was a girl, she's not a guy. Right? Sure. Playing with a doll does not take from her femininity, right? She can play with a doll and she can be an adult. That so is there a point different. where you stop playing with dolls? Women don't, I'm sorry, some, but women don't play women. with dolls. Some women. Ask, ask a woman. Well, some women. At one point. Would you, would you play with a, would you, at your age now, I don't know how old you but, <laughs> uh, 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 would you play with dolls? Dolls. dolls, dolls. Do you know what doll? You know, you know, yeah. you know dolls? Sure. Would you would you, you judge would you judge a woman that plays with a doll that she's immature? Thank you. So let's come back. Let's come back. So let's come back to our point. It does not prove. Twenty year old would be playing. Now you're trying to influence your decision. Now you're trying to. No, trying to make it clear. Oh, can we add something to that? 
that they were 1400 years ago. They did not have means of entertainment of today. They did not have PlayStation 2, Facebook, no, Twitter, whatever it is. They had now of entertainment. I, I want her. I want her to answer. So, would you say that a woman is not mature just because she's? Yeah. yeah. In your age, 1400 years ago, in your age, no means of entertainment. I don't know your age differently, but. But Hold on, you can't would you say, say, that. say psychologically you immature? Don't, you don't know. Will you make that statement? No, not okay. That okay. That is maybe in our days we like Exactly. Yeah. So this is this is a bi then unbiased view. She's not Muslim, right? I'm just yeah, but confirming. you don't know, No, but you're <laughs> She's saying not you're saying that they had no entertainment back then other than playing with dogs. Look, look, I'll tell you something. How do you know Chris, what Chris, entertainment they had? Chris, Chris, you you Chris, you, you wanted to Wait, wait, you're two on one now. Let's let's, like let's, well. let's wait for a second. Well. Right. Yeah, maybe. I never I had those. I was just like, uh, just many people don't play with those. But look, Chris here wanted to bring an external opinion. It was not me. And now you don't want to external opinion that you brought. It's unfair, right? Let's come back to our discussion, right? So playing with dolls does not determine your maturity, right? They did not have at that time. Uh, yeah. So they had Today no might, So you're saying might, that they had no other entertainment sure. than playing with dolls. Let me finish the statement. No, right? you said that. No. They had no other entertainment other than play with dogs. I said they had limited means of entertainment. This is what I said. Look, don't, don't play with my words, even your friends. <laughs> okay, coming back to the point that, that I was uh, talking about, right? Even today, if a woman is playing with dogs, I will not judge her, her maturity. That is her thing. People have hobbies, right? All people today have the strangest hobbies that you can imagine, right? It does not undermine from their maturity, right? So that is not a point for you to... And you're re rebuking, the, removing the statement where she said she was adult herself. You don't want to accept that point, right? She lived for years after the death of Prophet Muhammad. She never complained, she never said anything, right? So coming back to that point, people used to get married early because it was the norm of the society. No one at that time spoke about that. One of the wives of Prophet Muhammad, her name was Safiya, right? She was the, from the Jewish tribe, right? Safiya got married when she was 10 before, before she married Prophet Muhammad afterwards. So that was the norm of the society. It was not something limited to Prophet Muhammad doing, right? And definitely it was not immoral in that situation and their lifetime, right? Today is a different story. Today there is kindergarten, middle school, secondary school. Women do not get mature as, as much as they used to do. They don't deal with adults straight away. They're, they're confined in a, in, a, in, a, in a place where they're only playing with children of their age. Right? So that is where they get information or mature from, right? Now, let's move on to the second point. The second point was about the marriage of, of his uh, uh, adopted son, right? Okay, Zaid, Zaid ibn Haritha, yeah? This is mentioned in the Quran, by the way. It's not just in the Hadith. How did the story go? How does the story go? Do you know? Okay. So that proves my point, that you were taking hearsay of people. That's why I told you do not. This was my point of this discussion, right? Did it happen? Did he marry her? I will explain differently. But I want to highlight this point because it's an important point. Don't just pick up here hearsay from people, Absolutely. right? And do not go research yourself. The Quran says what? Zaid had a wife, which was Zainab, right? Zainab bin Jash, yeah? Zaid was not happy with his, with his wife. He wanted to divorce her, right? According to the Quran. Not according to me. Bring it up so you, the I, will the I will break it. Bring will, it you, will you admit you're wrong if I bring it? Sorry? Will you admit that you're wrong if I bring it? Uh, yeah. Because you will laugh. Yeah, I will. Okay, I will. sure. Be honest, yeah? So, that, so he used to come to Prophet Muhammad and he say, I want to divorce my wife. And the Prophet tells him, keep your wife. I will show you right now. Because you, you, you have not looked enough in, in this. In order for you is this to... this his son-in-law, yeah? Sorry? His son-in-law. This is Zaid, yeah. It's him, yeah. Because from what I read... It's him. Remember the teachings of Jesus. He was pleased with divorce. And there's only one reason that you could divorce. Yeah, fornication. Yeah. So... Once you divorce, you can't remarry. Yeah. Unless the person is dead, yeah. Yeah. So how would that apply with this verse here? Sure. Now coming back to, to uh, there's a lot of translations here. Okay, 33, 30, 37, yeah? Sure. Let's read. 37, no, is this one, yeah? Okay. Look. This is a, many translations, not just one, yeah? Okay. And remember, O Muhammad, read with me, yeah? When you said to the one whom Allah bestowed favor, and you bestowed favor on, 
by meaning by taking him in, in your house. Keep your wife and what? Fair Allah. You agree with me now that you were wrong? But that doesn't mean he wanted to get rid of his wife. Why is he telling him keep your wife? Because, because he saw, yes. he saw, now you're, one you're, second, okay, hold on, and I've read about this, sure. he saw yeah. that Muhammad was getting interested in her, Yeah. so sure. he said, so why are you to, referring so to, one second, sure. so he said to Muhammad, take my wife. Sure, okay, that's, that's what I say, uh, by all, with all due respect, Chris, is what ignorance leads to, right? I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why I mean that. I don't so mean, Muhammad I don't didn't take an interest in her. Can, can, I, can I answer? What you're talking about is a narration. He was lusting over her. He doesn't want to finish. Uh, maybe you can be monitoring here because you're very calm. You know, I like your calmness, right? Be calm a bit as well, right? It is not good to be to be like this. Be calm. I will explain to you. You will understand. But do not feel that this is a battle. I'm not battling you. I'm explaining to you yeah, because okay. you have not looked. You have not looked, right? This hadith you're talking about is a fabricated hadith according to our Muslim scholars where Prophet Muhammad, and I'll tell you even is logically invalid, I'll tell you why. The Prophet Muhammad one day he saw uh, Zainab and he, uh, he saw her, she, her beauty and, 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 and then he, he lost it over her or whatever it is, right? Yeah. You know why this hadith is, is, is both not only in a chain of narration invalid by our scholars but also logically invalid because she was his cousin. Is it the first time that he sees her? Oh, she's a beautiful woman and then he feels, oh, now I'm lusting over. She was his cousin, bro. He used to see her every time. So that, that shows that this narration is not only in a chain of narration invalid but logically invalid. Now coming back to this. No. Now coming back to that, now you're going to jump everywhere. We have two yeah, types, we have many yeah. types of hadith, right? Yeah. We have authentic hadith, we have weak hadith. The hadith, okay. people in the chain of narration were liars, fabricators. And there is a missing link between one of the narrations and the Prophet. We don't know who he, who he heard from. So it's completely unaccepted hadith, right? But they use today because they hate Islam, right? So it's not only in a chain of narration invalid, but logically invalid. Now coming back to the point. In the hadith, Zaid was coming to the Prophet. This is what the hadith says. Zaid was coming to the Prophet. You want to divorce Zainab. And the Prophet says, Amsik ala, keep your wife and, and fear Allah. Do not divorce your wife. Right? And the verse says, And you can say it in yourself, what Allah has told you, that you will marry Zainab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Prophet Muhammad that he will marry Zainab. Do you know why? Because Prophet Muhammad will yeah. marry Zainab. He told Prophet Muhammad, by, I will explain. That's what, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I will it's explain. two different completely. Guys, let me finish before. explaining and then you can, have, you can jump in, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Prophet Muhammad that he will marry Zainab, right? What happened is that Prophet Muhammad, the fear of what the people are going to say, he did not want to do it, so he used to, to, to tell Zaid, keep your wife. And this is what the verse says. And you hide in yourself. What Allah is going to show that you will marry her. Right? Why did the Prophet Muhammad do that? Because of the saying of the people. Why did Allah want him to marry her? Because in Islam, we don't have adoption. This is the verse that follows. 33 verse 40. It says, Muhammad is not the father of any of your men. We don't have adoption in Islam in the sense that you take a child and you name him after you, now you are related. We don't have that in Islam. That is in Western civilization. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to bring that tradition that the Arabs had, destroy that tradition, remove that tradition, that we don't have that. I can take an orphan. In fact, the Prophet Muhammad said, so what happened again? Did he actually He married her? Zainab. He married Zainab after Zaid Are divorced. Are you allowed her. to marry a divorced woman? Definitely, yes. In Islam. Well, yeah. According to the law of in Moses, is, in, is, in Islam, in Islam, is actually likely to do so. You should do so. So why, 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 why would, would God, go why would God, I will answer. No, 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 why would sure. God One go question by the time. God, no, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's the same question. <laughs> yeah. Why would God go against his laws and okay. say, one minute, sure. if you if you divorce, I hate divorce, by the sure. way, sure. but if you divorce, sure. you cannot marry again. I have, I have two logical one answers. One second, one second. You sure. cannot marry again until the person is dead. Sure. That, and then but now that is the New Testament, not in the Old Testament, isn't it? Both, that is that both, the writings both, of Paul. Both, Where is it in the Old Testament? Both. Jesus says in the Old Testament. You said the law of Moses. Where is it yeah, in, the in the Old Law, Testament? In the law of Old Testament. Where is it? Huh? Where is it? 
I can't find, I can't remember. You're assuming what you see, what you're referring to is right is Paul's writing. Is in is in Corinthians. In Corinthians. No, no, no. In Corinthians. Wait, wait, wait. In Corinthians, I believe it's chapter seven, verse ten. If I remember correctly, or chapter ten, one of the two. This is the verse. Yeah, it's chapter seven, verse ten. Is the one that is referring that if you uh, divorce a wife, you're not. She's not gonna marry, and she should not deserve a divorce a wife. She cannot ex divorce a man, right? This is in the New Testament. He said this is in the law of Moses, right? I want to see where is it in the Old Testament. This is look. I will make few points, right? It's not in the law of Moses. Number one. Number two point. Even if it was was in the law of Moses. We believe in progressive revelation. There is many commandments that was only for the Jews. Number three, look, I give you three logical responses. Number three, you're assuming <laughs> that this is true. That this law it is, is was applicable and the, the Old Testament is preserved. So you, this is three logical answers, not one logical answer, okay? Now... So in other words, what you're basically saying is, yes. it, it suits me as a Muslim, no. to say, one this second. No, I'm saying. No, hold on, one second. No, <laughs> Are you speaking on my behalf? Oh no, Muslim, all Muslim behalf. No, no, talk about my behalf. Talk about, you're a nice person, Chris. Oh, right? Talk about oh, my behalf. Don't talk about my as, as a Muslim, it suits me yeah. to go with, the, with Islam. Then I can marry again who I want. Because no. if I go with what the gospel... Oh, no, no. What are you talking second? about? Marry again? Are you second? taking the same divorce? The woman that you... Maybe you misunderstood. The woman that you divorce, you marry her again. No, you can marry someone else. It's oh, no, no, no. Are you saying... Prophet Muhammad was not married to Zainab. This is the first time he married her. He was not married to her before. No, I know. Oh, I thought you meant no. that if you divorce a woman, you let her go, then you come back to marry her. No, 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 no. So no. Why, why is this suitable for me? This is actually suitable for the society. If a woman gets divorced and no man can... Okay, her husband dies, you can, she can marry, right? According to Paul, I think. If her husband dies, she can marry? Yeah. If her husband dies, she can marry? Yeah, According yeah, yeah. Paul. Okay, sure. If, if a man divorces his wife, she cannot marry again? Is that what you're saying? Until she's the until she's uh, dead. According to well, the Torah. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. Well, one second. So she she cannot get married until until she dies. Until the man dies. Yeah. So if I marry a woman today, 20 years old, beautiful woman, right? I don't have intercourse with her, and I divorce her. She cannot marry until she dies. Are you saying this is the law of God? Yeah. <laughs> You've married her. Chris, at least think about what you're saying. You've married right? her. Islamically. You allow second marriages for the sake of these women. Who are they going to get married to? Who are they going to take care That's why you have to be very careful. Why, why, why would you separate? If well, you got married to somebody, why would you not there is, I'll, I'll give you an marriage. example. I'll give you a few examples, right? One of the examples, which is a problem I believe in Christianity, if you marry a woman and you're abusing that woman, she cannot get divorced. I'm hitting the woman. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all the sorts okay, of bad things. So, so there is multiple Robert reasons. says that woman needs to separate herself. Yeah. And yeah. Through prayer and, and... Why is it not the case for the man? Say for the man as well. No, they need to separate no, no. The man, but they never give up on the, the hope the, the, that eventually God will restore the man, marriage together. The man, the man, the man can divorce if he's not happy with the wife. No, no, the wife no, can't, no, no, the man the man can't, can't divorce. divorce. No, no. Where does it say that in the scripture? Neither man or woman can no, no. divorce. Where does Neither it say that in the scripture? Again, in the Where? Jesus confirmed. Before we talk about before, Moses, the, before you go, where's the verse you where it says the reason where, of adultery? Where, where's the verse that it says that the, the, the reason why Moses wrote them a letter of divorce? Why did Jesus say that? Why did Jesus say no, he no. wrote them a letter of divorce? Our point here. Because the hardening of their hearts. Because the hardening Chris, of their hearts. Chris, 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 listen, listen. Sorry, Chris, my point is you're making a claim about your gospel, not about my book, right? About your gospel. Okay. That you're saying that you're saying that there is a verse that says I would agree for the sake of argument. I have no problem. We are not with divorce, anyways, as Muslims. We don't like divorce. There is a weak narration. Is a weak narration. It says Abghadul Halali ilallah talaq. The most hatred, permissibility in the sight of Allah is divorce. Is the most hatred thing. Okay, that is a weak narration, but it is permissible for the embitterment of society, for women being abused, for men who are not. Okay, if I'm not happy with my wife, my wife anymore. I'll give you, no wait, if I'm not, I know to you, to you. If, are you married? Okay. If, if someone doesn't lust over his wife anymore, that leads to adultery in the end. That leads to them going, doing adultery, right? If someone is not happy with his wife, is not lust, lusting over his wife anymore, does not feel intercourse, with, does not feel like he's attracted to her anymore. What they do is they go and do adultery. So you will try to close a door, you will open another door. You will open a, 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 another door of problems, right? Islamically, that's why I said, Islamically is a law place for everyone. That law could have been applicable for the Jews, I have no problem, right? We believe in progressive revelation. 
Today, today, yeah, you believe women in all what suits you. Today, today, no, 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 yes, no, 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 not, not, not what suits me. Not what suits me. What suits the society? Any, any reasonable person listening, they will agree that it is ridiculous for you to say. If I divorce a woman and she's 20 years old, she cannot get married again until she dies. Anyone will agree this is a ridiculous claim. And they will tell you what, whose God are you talking about. I'm not going to follow that. Well, that's why you have to be very careful who you marry. No, not today, only that. Today, people, people just get make, married for the sake no, no, of... No, look, look, look. People make mistakes, Chris, right? Sometimes you see a woman, she's playing the, the role of... They will show you their best. She's showing you that she's lovely, she's caring. You marry her, you see all the problems in the world. <laughs> you're married, you should know what to do. <laughs> that is not what the woman shows you in the beginning, is the woman after you marry her, right? That's why you have so, to... That's the problem with Islam. Are you married? Are you married? No. But that's I know, why. But I know, that's why. But I know, but I know, <laughs> I know in the, in Muslim, with Muslims, yes. you, you see... You Are see you that no. you're not related. Oh yeah, because you're always together. I thought you were related. Yeah, no, no, we meet yeah. each other. Why, why, why you always say problem with Muslim and he's given you What's all it? the logic no, and the solution you. for no, any, I'm any, I'm any. You. I'm and you, you still problem. find oh, it. I'm, I'm telling you, the problem with finish. Muslims is they meet someone. Thank you very much. I have a problem. Why? Why you say I have a problem? <laughs> they, they Don't say Muslims at least, right? Say uh, say the problem with this. With this, they say the problem with this. Okay, the problem. This is what I do, isn't it? The problem with this is yeah, I like a Muslim. This. Thank you. Will 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 meet someone. Yeah. And they'll they'll ar they'll arrange to meet if they want to get married to them. They arrange to meet them for maybe two or three months. No, no, no. I'll, even more. The, the, the period of khidba, khidba in Islam, is the period where you meet the woman, you talk to her, until you feel you're comfortable enough, you know her, you understand her, and you're ready to marry her. Is but it's impossible for you to know anyone and take this with, with you when you go home. It is impossible to know anyone until you live with him. You're absolutely right. Until you live with him. You will not know anyone for certainty until you live with that person. So what we say, look, Islamically, we believe in progressive revelation. That's why we don't keep the Sabbath. Do you keep the Sabbath? Okay. We don't keep the Sabbath because we believe in progressive revelation. We believe certain laws. Look, Moses was addressing his people. He was addressing the Israelites. So in Islamic understanding, we believe that Moses was sent to the Israelites. He was giving them commandments for them. Some of the commandments we still keep because they're always applicable for all times. One God, your neighbor, not to kill otherwise. So the Sabbath is no, no longer applicable? In Islam. The yeah. Quran affirms the Sabbath. They existed. It was yeah. for the Jews. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, it, the Sabbath was made upon those who deferred upon it, i.e. the Jews. It was not made for everyone. This is what the Quran clearly said. And that's why I'm advising you and I'm giving you uh, today that's definitely up to you, right? But we're all going to die one day. If it's true that Prophet Muhammad is a prophet and what he brought makes sense, it is worth for me to research and look. I'll tell you what, if you look just at prophecies of Prophet Muhammad, you will be shocked. Because it's impossible for a man to know the future and he's not a prophet of God. Every time say the truth, right? Anyways, it was definitely a pleasure talking to both of you, you know? You're nice people, you're not like the hecklers that come around here and scream and otherwise. And I hope I didn't offend you, offend you in any way. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for your time, yeah? All See right, you. Thanks.